working on a 2003 Tahoe. It has a no oil pressure at all. It's going into reduced engine power. It may be due to the oil, the lack of oil. But I just put oil in it and let's check out the, let's check out the gauge. Key in the on position. It barely moves at all. Start it up and it's the same. There's no difference. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull out let me show you what the oil pressure sending unit is. We might have to change it. Uh, I'm not getting any voltage, I don't think, according to my scan tool. So the oil pressure sending unit is way back in the back. So I'm going to unplug it, and I'm going to check voltages and see what kind of voltages we got on that. Maybe it's a voltage issue. Because, uh, again, we are going into reduced engine power. I believe that is a 5-volt uh, reference uh, sensor. So let's check it out. And this is what we got. We got a mass airflow sensor, a throttle position sensor. We got the fuel tank pressure sensor. We got the oil pressure sensor. All right, all these codes right here. When you look at these codes, what comes to mind uh, to me and to you know most, most mechanics that do this kind of work is five volt reference. Every one of these are on the five volt reference circuit of the PCM, of the main computer. So I noticed I erased all the codes and the other one that came back immediately was the oil pressure sensor. So uh, let's take a look at it and uh, see if that's gonna be our problem. If any one of these sensors are shorted at, shorting out, it would, uh, it would, screw up it would go into reduced engine power basically so let's check the engine oil pressure sensor since that's the only hard code uh, we got after erasing the computer all the other ones fell off those fell off that's the only one that remained so let's check that one out and uh, hopefully we can find an oil pressure sensor unit that's bad and plus the gauge is not working inside the vehicle so it's the most logical choice so let's go there. I realize that a lot of people out there, they go to AutoZone or O'Reilly's and you know, they're pulling out a bunch of codes, right? And uh, you start spending money on the mass airflow sensor because it's the one on the top. And then you start changing the throttle body. It doesn't fix the problem. The codes come right back. And you go back there to the fuel, the fuel tank, you drop the fuel tank, you change that or you change that. Uh, you spent all that money on parts and the labor to install every one of these and none of them fixed the problem until you change that one. So it's very important to when you get codes, have a mechanic look at it and he can give you a better direction of how to attack, you know, multiple trouble codes. And all these trouble codes are due more than likely to the bad the bad oil pressure sensor uh, and it was it didn't have any oil in it so let's check out the oil pressure sending unit and then we'll go from there Let's get in there and uh, check it out. You gotta squeeze your hand way back there in the back. And it looks like a clip is a little bit broke back there too. It doesn't snap, it just pulls right off of the sensor for one. Ah! Not a lot of room back here. There's a lot of oil on it. It's got a bad sensor on it for sure. But uh, let's, uh, because the plug is all wet. So that means the sensor is leaking through the connector and in, in the inside. So I have a new sensor as well, but I'm still gonna do voltage testing. I'm still gonna do voltage testing. This is a three-wire 
oil pressure switch. I have five volts, so my voltage is as good. My voltage is good. I'll check the other ones as well. I should have a ground somewhere in there. It should go dee. Power, I got a ground. We're going to change that switch out, is what we need to do. So, this is an oil pressure switch right here. And what was going on is there was oil inside of there. When I unplugged it, there was oil all over the connector. So it's failing from the inside. And the check engine light is on too, so it says oil pressure switch. So we're going to change it out. And then we'll get in there and we'll check the, uh, the pressure. All right, woo -woo, let's do it. This is my last one of the day. Last one, man. I just wanted to point out that uh, you notice that the throttle body has been rewired as well. So I was a little skeptical on this. It actually they looked like they did a pretty good job on it besides the black tape. Now you know they're heat shrunk. Not that bad of a job, just taped up on the ends. I'm not really worried about that. Uh, but it was a concern of mine in the beginning. So I just figured since the oil pressure, you know, gauge wasn't working right, just get back there and let's check the oil pressure sensor since it is on a five volt reference as well. Just like the throttle body, uh, just like the mass airflow sensor, just like the, the AC pressure sensor, uh, just like the, uh, the fuel tank pressure sensor, you know, camshaft, crankshaft sensors, some of them. So it's the most logical. And plus, it was a hard code. Uh, once I erased the codes, the oil pressure came right back. So it's the most logical direction to take on uh, when you get a bunch of codes that are all on the five volt reference uh, circuit. All right. So. Uh, that's a wrap. We're just going to take it for a test drive and uh, let's see what happens. It shouldn't go back into reduced engine power. I'm pretty feeling pretty confident about it, but let's take a test drive and see. All right, we just got off a test drive. No check engine lights, no reduced engine power. We got oil in the system. We got a new oil pressure sending unit. Our gauge is working inside our oil pressure gauge. And we have no trouble codes, guys. All right, I'm out here. It's like 11 o'clock at night. I started on this video and I didn't, you know, take a video of, you know, the voltage reading of the oil pressure sending unit. So I decided let me come on out here and, and do it for you guys. Uh, so let's get to it, man. I'm, I'm gonna go into the data stream. And I know I didn't show you, that's why I'm doing it, but I put, I knew I had like 0 0.02 volts when I checked the data stream last time. So I want to see five volts on the oil pressure sending unit. I didn't check it yet. So, you know, I'm pretty sure it's going to say close to five volts now. Let's see. Or close. Let's go to uh, data stream, engine data, and we're going to go to engine data two, and we're going to find oil data pids, oil data pids. I think I passed them because they were up top somewhere. There's engine low, engine oil level, oil, engine oil pressure. Okay, that's all I really want to see. 
I had 0 0.02 volts on my sensor. Let's see what we got now. Keys in the on position, of course. My scan tool's on. Oh, well, we got 0.49 volts now. Let's start it up. All right, there we go, baby. There we go. It was at 0 0.02 volts while it was running last time. Just so that you know, I'm gonna step on the gas. It should change. All right, it just shorted out, the, the sensor was shorted out and it brought it all the way to like 0 0.02. That's like zero. And that's what was going on. So we shouldn't be going into reduced engine power anymore. That's perfect. All right, guys. Uh, let me get my ass in the house. I am tired, so uh, I can finish this video up. All right, guys, I'm out. Peace. You see what the things we go through? You see what the things we go through, all you YouTubers out there, when we make videos? The extra mile we go for you guys. Uh, you have no idea. I mean, some, a lot of you do, but some of you have no idea. And they have the audacity to, you know, give a thumbs down and stuff like that. I don't really care about likes or subs subscribes or subscribing. That's not what I do it for. I'm not doing it to get paid uh, or anything like that. So I'm just out here and I have fun making videos uh, to help you guys out. Okay, that's it. That's what I do. Uh, I'm here to help. All right, guys, I'm going to get back in the house and uh, make me some oatmeal raisin cookies. So I'm out. Peace. Have a good night, y'all. I didn't videotape when I put the sensor in and started it up. And you can see the needle now move. So let me do that now. Okay, bam. There we go. Got oil pressure again. It's a good idea to uh, to keep getting an eye on your gauges. You know, now we got all my gauges are working. I got my oil light gauge, my my battery voltage, uh, gas gauge, of course, is important. The water temperature. You know, you don't want to blow a head gasket or cause other issues. Uh, and what I do, and what I tell all my customers, uh, especially the younger generation. Uh, is always train yourself to look at the gauges. You know, look at your gauges every 10 minutes. Just glance at them. It only takes a split second to just look at your gauges and know what you're looking at. And uh, you do that over time and you'll save yourself uh, a very bad day. Uh, you know, like when people overheat, they might have been overheating for 10, 10 minutes and they'll never know until it's too late. So train yourself about every 10 minutes just glance at your gauges just glance at your gauges temperature gauge uh, fuel gauge of course just glance uh, look at your oil pressure gauge just take it just takes a split second to just look at your gauges y'all is all i'm saying all right guys you guys take care and we'll see you next time hayes mobile auto repair we're in jackson mississippi example of five volts reference they actually label it five volts mass airflow sensor okay right down to the uh, all right for example this is the engine computer right there there's your five volts okay on that one mass airflow sensor let's go to the next one all right let's go to the throttle body all right let's see the five volt references on that one as well and let's find it there it is right there there's actually two of them on here there's one right there and there's one right there okay let's go to the uh what was that other code mass airflow sensor throttle body the uh the fuel tank pressure sensor of fuel 
tank pressure sensor. That was on the trouble codes. I'm just doing this so you guys can see. Look, there it is again, five volt reference. All right, let's, uh, I think that was it. And there you have it guys, uh, five volt reference. You just gotta put the clues together uh, and find a good direction. So uh, that's it guys, I'm out of here, it's late. And my dogs are getting upset. All right guys, I'm out, peace out. And I realize what you're seeing here is I'm showing you a bunch of sensors and I'm showing you that they have five volts on it. Uh, there, there's, uh, and they're not tied in together. But what that just tells me is it's all within the ECM. All these five volts, they come together within the ECM and uh, they do their thing. All right, guys, I'm out of here. It's late. Uh, and the mosquitoes are eating me up. I'm out. Peace out.